Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I literally just ended a week in my life and now I'm gonna do a Sunday reset because it is Sunday. It is a Sunday morning and I love Sunday resets because they are really motivating to watch and I just like organization and I like reinvention and I like the idea of like redoing who you are on Sundays is like literally the best thing ever. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And I just feel like these are like just really great background videos. Like if you guys are doing like a Sunday reset, um, because I'm uploading this on a Sunday, you guys can also do it along with me. But yeah, I just love these and I think that they are the best. Today for the Sunday reset, we have a lot to do today because my apartment is a mess. I need to put away laundry. I need to just honestly clean up. I have a lot of trash to throw out. I have like all my breakfast stuff right here. Um, do I say I have to put away all my laundry? Because I do. I wrote down a little list. Okay, Sunday reset vlog, laundry, order groceries, clean, edit, manifest, pod, and promo. So I'll bring you guys along for all of that. Show you guys um, all that I have to do today. Honestly, the first thing I'm gonna do is edit last week's week of my life and get that uploaded today and just do so i'm going to edit last week's week of my life and edit the promotion for manifest new episodes going up tomorrow so that i have that to post on my instagram tomorrow too so i'm going to start editing videos and you guys are going to come along with me so i just finished editing it took like all afternoon but um i also got to take out sushi so i was taking a little lunch break too so i just finished editing the apartment literally looks like such a mess there is just stuff everywhere. Such a mess. I didn't even make the bed from yesterday, which is so unlike me, but literally like was rushing around all day yesterday. Just never got to it. So it's a mess in here. All this laundry has to be put away and I have some more to put away in um, the dryer. And it's like six o'clock now. I don't know where the day went. Like literally the first half of the day was so slow. And then, which was like awesome. And then the second half of the day just has absolutely flown by. So it just feels like the end of the day right now. Um, so for the rest of the night, I want to plan my week, order groceries, clean the apartment, put the laundry away, kind of just clean and stuff. Oh, and I'm also soaking off a nail because I picked at it um, while watching Survivor. Which, by the way, I cry at every single episode of Survivor. And I can't help it, but that show makes me so emotional. I literally cry every single episode. I think the first thing that needs to be done is to clean. Because once the apartment's clean, then my mind will be cleaner. part about um in this apartment is that it's so easy to clean 
It's one floor. It is so easy. And I can literally get it done. That took me like 45 minutes. Like half of a podcast. And I'm already done. Which is awesome. I still have my laundry to put away. But I'm going to do that in a little bit. Um, I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's 7. Um, so what I'm going to do now is make my video public and just post that real quick and then i'm just going to plan my week and order groceries as i do that now the way that i plan my week i just did an entire podcast episode on it um it's called organization tips to declutter your mind it's from monday march 14th and yes while i was like decluttering my mind i'm doing that exact same method right now that I'm about to do, which is go into a week, time block out my week, and then write my to-do list on top of each day of the week so that my tasks are divvied up. And I'm using my iPad to do that. I purchased a planner on Etsy. I'll link the one that I purchased below. It's like a digital planner. And every time I say the word planner, I get so many questions about mine. Um, I was so naive to think of like how simple this would be for creating a planner. So I'm still working on it and it will come out and trust me, I guess how many DMs like did it release yet? When it releases, I promise you guys will know, but there's like a lot of back end to it that I just didn't even consider and I don't know why. Because I know what it takes to like start a business and stuff and releasing a product is not just like releasing a product, like there has to be a business behind it. Um, and like where does it ship from like where the returns go to who's gonna answer like return emails like It's more than just a planner. There's a lot that goes into it. So Please bear with me, but you guys will know when that comes out Okay, so this is what my time block looks like. This is actually a really good visual because I normally don't, I didn't show this in the podcast. So this is what like the time block look le looks like. So I just section off my day, red is stride, um, pink is like me time, blue is like YouTube social media work, gray is like to do's and et cetera things. Um, and pink is also workouts because that's like me time. Unless it's at stride, then it's in red because I'm at the studio. Um, but I only have one workout this week that's not at stride. And that is Friday morning. I'm going to do a yoga class. So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. And then on the top of each day, I make like this small little to-do list. Well, Monday's not so small. It's just a lot of admin work. So it looks like a lot, but it's really not as much as it looks like. Um, there's just like actually one big thing in there, but that's really it. And then each day of the week, it kind of just dwindles down. And like also depending on how busy I am that day, like clearly on this day, I'm going to be out of the house from 630 in the morning until like 4 p.m. And so clearly I'm not going to be getting like a lot of work done this day because I'm going to be at the studio in the morning and I have my hair done on Tuesday. So I obviously didn't get myself like a big to do list because I wouldn't be able to do it. You know what I mean? So I take that into account with every day. Thursdays are like typically just like podcasting days. So podcasting, any like admin work, like I'll just make sure to add on. Fridays, I typically like tie up all the loose ends for stride and stuff like that. Um, and I have to get a new license on Friday. And then this is Saturday, which will be really fun. And then I have nothing on Sunday, which is super, super nice to have, um, to have nothing on Sunday. So this is typically what my week planning looks like. And then like from this digital planner that I have, you can go into the individual days 
And I'll typically do this like the night before each day. I'll just like plan the days just to make sure like nothing moved around, nothing changed, da da da. I find that if I do it like super early in advance, I typically just like waste my time because everything changes anyway. So I just wait till the night before to do this. So I'll probably fill this out like in a little bit. It's also the time that I like to go in and sort of like plan meals and stuff because three of these nights, like, uh, no, two of these nights, well, three. Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm gonna be getting back from the studio like kind of late. And I normally don't like to cook when I get back late. So like those are good nights for like crock pots or if I'm gonna do like takeout, like I'll do it on these nights. But on Tuesday and Friday, for example, like I'm gonna be home, so it's a good night to like make dinners. But also in the middle of the day, like I'm gonna be gone three days this week out for lunch. So it's like either a good time to plan lunches to bring or I can like eat out. Um, and the same with breakfast, like Tuesday is going to be like a day that I either just have to pack or like eat on the go all day. Um, and then every other day I'm pretty much home for breakfast. So this is also just a really good time to plan out meals, see like what actually works when I'll be home when I won't be. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now is go plan out my meal schedule. Okay. So this is what my grocery list will look like. It won't really focus that well, but I just have a bunch of options always for breakfast for lunch. I'm going to do the chicken quesadilla and then for snacks, I have a hummus platter and fruit and yogurt that can be like interchange. I can also do fruit and yogurt for breakfast. It's all about like I can change things around and like feel like it's diverse even if it's really simple. And then for dinner, um, this chili because chili is really good for leftovers and because I have a lot of late nights this upcoming week, leftovers are going to be my best friend. And we also, the studio is right next to a California tortilla as well. So if I need to like get a California tortilla, um, I definitely can too. But I'm just gonna order all of these on Instacart. that is it for my Sunday reset I saw I just finished putting away some laundry and yeah that's pretty much it now all I'm gonna do is wash my face and climb into bed I am so exhausted and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching this bye